Hello everyone, Shea Bear 1000 here. Today we're going to do another soup review. I've had this soup for a while now. Um, I actually have two of them. But I didn't want to eat one because I knew I was going to do a review on this because I never had one. And if I ate one, it wouldn't have been a true review. So, this is what we're going to review. Let me see if I can get a thumbnail picture here. The Sriracha Ramen Noodle Soup Original. Originally artificially flavored. Okay, so let's get you down here. I'll show you the nutrition facts and we'll read the instructions real simple. And then we'll get into making the soup and we'll try it out. Okay guys, I know a lot of you like to read the nutrition facts on here, so I'm going to give them to you. You can pause that and read that if you would like. Now we're going to read the instructions. Like I said, it's very simple. And I've got my sriracha bowl that Monkey got me. It says I put sriracha on my sriracha. So, stovetop instructions. Boil two and a quarter cups of water in a small pot. That's 530 milliliters. Two and a quarter cups is just over 16 ounces. So if you have a 16 ounce bottle of water and you're camping, just use one of them. You can use less or more, depending on how soupy you want it or how dry you want it. Add seasoning mix and noodles. Stir occasionally and cook for four minutes that's simple that's pretty much it but it also says uh, remove from heat um, of course but it says toss in preferred veggies and protein serve and enjoy flavor tip you can reduce the sodium and spice level I don't want to do that by adding less seasoning mix with cooking oh no we're going to add it all and it says wow it says, caution, this product is very hot. Handle with care to avoid spills and serious burns. Okay, I wish they, I would have read that sooner because this is very hot. Okay, so now, <laughs> just kidding guys. Um, then you got the uh, Instagram and Facebook there. And here's another premium noodles. Spicy, four minutes, hot. Right there on the side there. So, I got some water just getting ready to boil. I'll take you over there. We're going to dump this in. Also, this has a best buy date of 4-11-2023. Now, I've had, had these for several months now. So, they last a long time. That's just a best buy date. It's not an expiration date. These things will last years. Uh, I know that because I've had some for years and ate them. Ramen noodles will last for, as long as you know a mouse don't get in it or something like that or it's compromised by being open a little bit. As long as that don't happen, you know, it's fine. So, yeah. Um, it is uh, 4.23 ounces, which is 120 grams. So, let's dump this in the water. I'm not going to... I'm not going to... Uh, make you watch me boil that for four minutes I'm not even gonna fast forward it I think that's boring and I think you guys have other things you want to do with your time than watch water boil so this is starting to boil now so let's get over here at the stove and we'll dump this in stir it up and then we'll cut to trying it out okay guys so let's go ahead and we're gonna open this up opens up very easy Ooh. That's a pretty good size packet there. Okay, usually they want you to put it in after you boil your noodles, but this says to do it now, so that's what we're gonna do. So this is the seasoning mix original. Whoa, wow, okay. Get this in here. 
All right, now I'm gonna let this boil for four minutes. I'm gonna stir it occasionally. I think, is that what that said? Yeah, stirring occasionally. Then we're gonna try it out. Stick around, guys, more to come. Okay, guys, so here's what we're looking at here. Looks good, smells delicious. I've got me some water here. Uh, someone commented and said I should use water instead of pop to like cleanse my palate or whatever. And I, I had heard that before, but you know, it does make a lot of sense. So I've been doing that ever since. So that way I can get the real, you know, like I don't have a sweetness in my mouth beforehand. So I can get a real, A more accurate of what this is going to taste like so let's zoom you back out here we'll pick you up like that and as you saw I didn't break the noodles up so <laughs> got this going on here monkey had to go to the store <laughs> She had to go pick up something. I forget what it was. The day the hurricane was supposed to come, she said that place was a madhouse. People was grabbing stuff off the shelves and just really freaking out. Which ahead of time, you know, we when whenever they're watching a storm, that's when we start stocking up. But I know through Hurricane Irma, our electric was out for two weeks, and we're all electric here. We have no gas. So, you know, we went and bought a bunch of these soups and canned goods and stuff like that. And uh, I remember going to the store and picking some of that stuff up. All that stuff was all still pretty much there, but people was going and they had carts full of, like, roasts and hams and chicken and stuff. And I'm thinking, how are they going to keep that cold? Because even if you put that stuff in the freezer, I know our freezer, we, we had to start eating stuff out of it after like four or five days because you know you could tell it's thawing out and we only opened it once a day then you hear people saying oh we'll just keep putting coolers so then you had people going out buying all the ice up they couldn't get ice and it's like well you know I've, I've camped and I've camped long term before for a week you know two weeks and a cooler's not you know that ice is going to melt a cooler's not going to keep your food it'll keep it It'll keep it nice and cool and good enough to eat for three to four days. After that, it gets a little, you know, you need to start eating it up. And like I said, we were without power for two weeks. But that's okay. I mean, you know, we, like I said, everybody's like, I get tired of soups. But there's other canned stuff you, you can get. You can get canned meats. You know what I mean? You can get meats in a can. And, and it's good, you know. And you got people, they bought all this stuff and then they didn't know how to cook it. Because, you know, they had electric and, uh, you know, they, they didn't think it through and go, wait a minute, how are we going to cook this? I made a, uh, an alcohol stove out of a beer can that time through, and it, it was just fine. It boiled our water. It did what everything we needed to do. Now we got the, you know, Coleman stove and everything. It's, and I've always got fuel for it and, you know, we've got the grill we got ways that I can cook food, so. But like a roast, it's like, come on, people. You know, if you have electric, you're not going to be able to cook that roast, you know. I right, got us a big old payload here. Let's give this a try. Wow. That's spicy. Um, it's a little warm. <laughs> the flavor is excellent. I think, again, this is another one of my favorites. Um, let me take another bite and I'll give you my numbers. <laughs> I should have broke them up. 
I got one noodle wanting to wrap one way and the rest of them want to wrap the other way. <laughs> so, let's get another bite here. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I hate that noise that fork makes. Mmm. Very warm. I feel a little bit of sweat coming, but it's not unbearable at all. I'm going two thumbs up. I got to give this a five star because, uh, man, this is good. But I like sriracha and I like it so much that here we go. Let's add a little bit. It don't take much of the stuff, guys. Sriracha is really good stuff. I always get it like when I when I would go to Subway. I would always get sriracha and put on my subs. I don't go there much anymore because, like I said, they kind of give you an attitude if you tell them you don't want lettuce. Because really, if you just go in and order a sub, you know they just give you one piece of you know what I mean. Then you know what I'm saying across there. Same way with the cheese. The rest is onions, peppers, and just a whole boatload of of lettuce. Really what you're eating, you're just eating a sandwich or a salad that's into a sandwich. And I would go in, I would order double meat, double cheese, and maybe some peppers. But And I mean, they would really, like sometimes just get really rude. Well, who eats a sandwich without lettuce? I said, look, I don't want a salad. I, I want a meat sandwich, you know? You sure you don't want... I said, look, and that's when I stopped going there. Um, I will go once in a while, I'll get a hankering. But, and you know, I'm like, you're making more money off of me if you think about it, you idiot. You know, I'm the one paying your bill. Subway's not. People like me are. You know, so what... You know, so what... Uh, I'm like, what what's it matter you know you're making more off this one sandwich and then you're making off the one that you just served before me so the company should like that because they charge you extra for all that stuff extra meat extra cheese it's charged for it so i'm like man what what makes a difference but i mean that one that last time she got rude yeah monkey will tell you she got rude and i i, I was like i was trying to be as nice as i could i was having a great day and you know we just wanted to grab a couple sandwich and go to go to the park and you know I get I get this this and this girl's young too I mean probably 27 you know but old enough now you don't treat your customers that way look you know this I'm paying for it you know are you paying for this sandwich you know well no and you give me what I want that's why you ask do you want this do you want that do you want this you know you build your own sandwich you know I said I don't want the lettuce I just don't understand how anyone can eat a sandwich without lettuce. Because I don't want a salad. <laughs> I don't want a sandwich. Alright, let's try it with this extra sriracha sauce on here. Whoa. You guys see that noodle flip over here on my napkin? Alright, that, that warmed it up. <laughs> Quite a bit. Um, did it make it better? It made it hotter, but the flavor's still there. It's still packed full of flavor. This, this is great. I love it. So, thanks again to Brian and Marla that sent me these. I think I got one more in there that I have not tried. These were just all stuff I, I, I had not tried. And I won't review something if I've already tried it. This is good. I have another. They sent me two packs of these, and I have another pack in there. Monkey will probably want to eat it. She'll like this. This is really good. But I have a feeling she's going to miss out on this one unless she gets back soon because this is very good. This stuff's good. It's really good on sandwiches. Uh, sometimes I'll fry up bologna for a bologna sandwich, put some cheese on it. Dab just. Put a few drops of this on there. Oh my god. Very good. 
Okay, well, I'm going to finish my lunch. It's a late lunch. It's like quarter after two. But uh, I was going to do something today outside. But it, it did rain early this morning. It had been raining. Then it quit. And then it was supposed to rain about two. It's very gluing me out. So I don't want to get outside because I was going to be welding on something. And I don't want to get out there and get the welder out and get everything out there and have it start raining. That's happened to me more than once. So anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching, and I uh, hope you all had a great weekend or enjoying your weekend. This is Sunday, so and we'll see you in the next one. Uh, we got Thanksgiving just around the corner. Um, I will be doing a solo um, the day after Thanksgiving, so I'm going to bring some food with me from Thanksgiving leftovers. That'll be on Friday. And then Saturday, when Monkey comes to pick me up, she's actually going to stay. I'll take my hammock down, like I always do in that video. And then, uh, so I went ahead and just reserved two nights out here at the campground. And then she's going to spend the night, we'll spend the night together. So that'll get her out of the house that weekend too. So that, that'll be fun. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And then I got one, I got my annual solo camp out, which I'm going to be on the boat. Uh, I think I did the boat two years in a row I slept on it one year last year excuse me uh, I did sleep in my hammock but I did take the boat so I think all, all my yearly solo is always going to be have something to do with the boat this year it's going to be about mid-December this year I'm going to try this little island uh, I don't know if you're allowed to camp there there's no signs of anybody camp ever camp there so it's going to maybe be like a so like a like a stealth camp I don't like doing that I don't like calling it that uh, because to me you know there's actual homeless people out there and actual veterans homeless veterans vets and to me when you go stealth camping and you act like oh if I get caught I'll go to jail first of all no you won't they'll just ask you to leave and then if you don't leave or you go back then you could possibly go to jail usually they ask you to leave and you can just always go home, you know. Uh, the actual homeless people can't. So to me, it's like slapping them in the face, you know, because, well, if I get escalated, I can just go back to my house, you know, and, and they can't do that. They got to go find somewhere else. They got to pack all their stuff, walk for miles to, you know, maybe in the middle of the night, maybe in the rain to go try to find another place. And uh, so, yeah, this stealth camping thing kind of irritates me, you know. Um, I, I just don't, I just don't get it. Uh, I'll talk more about that in my camp out because I got something to say about that. Uh, it's a little kind of like a story. Um, but yeah, I don't, uh, I don't like that. Um, technically last year, my solo, I was stealth camping technically because first of all, I wasn't allowed to camp in that particular spot. And secondly, I didn't have I didn't reserve it, even though it's free, you're supposed to reserve something, you know. I didn't do that. I just pulled up on my boat and set up my hammock. But, I didn't, as you notice, I didn't say stealth camping because, you know, I didn't really do it on purpose. I just couldn't go where I wanted to go. But anyway, that's my take on that. So, stay tuned for those videos. And we got more videos to come. Uh, going to finish the roof up. I did get the frame for the little porch <coughs> on the hut. So we're going to finish the roof up on the hut. And then when I get a little extra money, I'm going to put some bamboo around the sides. The walls are going to be bamboo. So it should be cool when we're done. We'll do some videos out there, maybe some live streams and stuff. So it uh, should be a lot of fun. I think I'm going to put my little stove that I made out of the propane tank. I think I'm going to put it in there for like... Um, January, beginning of February, we only got about a month, month and a half of really cold weather where it gets down in the 30s. So it won't be used that much, but it'll still be cool. So anyway, guys, Shea Bear, the Myth Man of Legend. I'm gone for now. Thanks for watching, everyone. I appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next one. Everyone take care. Be safe. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.